Oh, here's that stretch of S curve road. Let's see if I have one shot left. I'm going to shoot this. I'm always trying to beat the sun to the top. <laughs> That's the goal. I want to get on top just before the first bit of sun peeps over the horizon. I think we're going to make it. I'm a little winded. I'm a little out of shape. I've been on the road working and haven't been doing a ton of cardio. Sometimes I'll do this route four or five times a week. I can hear all the little birds waking up and chirping over the traffic that's far below us now. I love it. It's already warm. Temperatures are triple digits this week. It's, uh, I don't know, 5.30 in the morning. Sun will actually be up in 10 minutes, but it's already warm. It's, it's 65 degrees out or something. I'm already sweating a lot. I love it up here, out here in the desert. This is the high desert. This is the Santa Clarita Valley, just north of Los Angeles, at the very northern edge of LA County. It's on the edge of pretty vast, broad national forest, forest in quotes, it's public land. But there ain't a lot of trees. There's a few of them down in the canyons and the valleys, but. Mostly it's a lot of scrub brush and these rolling jagged hills and I I love the country. It's cool, it's beautiful. And the colors right now, maybe you can see, the colors are insane. Me being the outlier that I am, I brought black and white film. I just felt gritty and black and white and contrasty, which I knew I might regret. I don't think you can hear it. Now there's residential neighborhoods all below me. This little pathway is, you know, popular for hikers and runners. I trail run it, but there's neighborhoods all below us stretching this way. Back here, it's only wilderness for hundreds of square miles. But down in one of these valleys here towards these homes, I can hear a pack of coyotes waking up. I see coyotes out here on the trail all the time. I see rattlesnakes. I love it. And I'm just at the edge of pretty densely populated area, suburbia. Yet, I see a lot of hunting birds and coyotes and rattlesnakes and bobcats occasionally, and I just love it. 
I'm almost to the top. Let's go. Ah, oh, here we are, up at the top. There's this little bench. You see that? I've never even sat on this bench. I pass it all the time. Ah, sit down. Wow. Wow, oh, I'm so glad I did this. I have some people coming up the trail behind me. Yeah, might have to let them pass. I don't like talking on camera in front of people. It feels weird. Sorry. I was excited to be up here alone. I didn't see any cars parked in the lot when I got here. I like being first. Uh, what are the odds? What are the odds that there's no one out here? It's a popular place. But you get up early enough, you can get the first tracks. Wow. Wow. The sun's about to rise behind me. The colors are insane. I needed this. Bad. Probably should have brought that color film, but I'm in a black and white mood lately. It's okay. The colors will stay in my mind and my memory. I've done this hike probably hundreds of times. I usually run it run the parts that I can, not the steep uphill parts. I haven't had any time to do that lately. I've been on the road and... If you've been watching any of the recent videos, you know I've been making this TV show and it's just, it's a lot. It takes a lot to make a TV show. This, these kind of wilderness adventure shows. I've been doing that. Four episodes in with three more to go. It'll be done in about six weeks. Haven't had a lot of time to make videos. On top of that, I'm developing another TV show on the side, a kind of a dream project. And it's going well, but it's hard work too, and it pulls me in both directions. And on top of that, I'm when I can, in the mornings, I'm trying to get up and write on this screenplay that I'm working on, because I want to make a film too. And of course, I'm dreaming of shooting film and doing photography as well, because that's that's my therapy, that's my release. It's my, my just personal little photo missions, some of which you've seen on this channel. The COVID restrictions are, are easing, nearly totally gone here in California, and I, I'm just itching to start shooting people again and doing, doing portrait sessions. And I just haven't had time to fit that in, and, really, really keen to shoot some people. Just share that experience, and make those images. I love it. It just keeps me fresh, it keeps me inspired. It keeps me hungry. It recharges my batteries in some strange way. It prepares me and allows me to then focus on my work and, and feel good about it. It's a grind, man, it's a grind. I'm not complaining, make no mistake. I'm, I'm grateful that I have uh, this work and that I can do these things, but I'm tired right now, I'm, I'm exhausted. I haven't been able to sleep, my brain is just working crazy and I, I wanted to go out last night at sunset, farther out into the desert and shoot the sunset and I just, I got all, everything ready and I just, I just felt I was physically spent, I was done. So I just went to bed early, like nine. Oh, the sun, look at this.
It's a gift. It's a gift to be up here. But then I, I went to bed early and I woke up early, my brain thinking about this coming shoot that I'm flying out to do tomorrow and this other development project that I'm working on and now I'm obsessed with trying to get that right and finding the time to do that. And then woke up thinking, I'm awake about an hour and a half before sunrise. I should just get my ass up, put some film in the camera and go up on the hill. So here we are. Sorry the videos have not been very frequent. We'll get there. We'll get there with some portraits and some cool stuff coming up. Right now I'm just gonna enjoy this moment and not think about all the things I wanna be doing or I'd rather be doing. I'm grateful to be here this morning and to see this sunrise. Wow, it's insane right now. Black and white film. I'm gonna tell you about my camera here in a minute, hang on. Wow, I gotta shoot this again. I mean, I've already taken a couple frames of it, but it just changes, it changes all the time. The sun's almost here. I wanna get a shot of it without these power lines. I love the power lines and I, I like to shoot through them. But now I'm kind of going, shit, I want a shot of that sunrise and the light without all these line power lines in the way. I like them. These big modern marvels of industrial technological design. I think of people building them and climbing up here on this top of this hill and erecting hundreds of these towers so people can light their homes. But right now I don't want them in my photographs. Oh, and we're... <laughs> We're maybe a minute away from the sunrise. I'm not gonna make it. That's okay. I'm having so much fun. Ah. Oh, shit. Ah. Okay. If we can get up to this hill over here, we might make it. I gotta shoot this, this is great. Shit. Oh, 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 I gotta get to the other side of this hill. I really need to boogie. Holy shit. I really should have brought some color film. That was a tactical error. Yeah, big error. I knew it, I knew it too. And I just was stubborn and I'm like, I wanna shoot black and white. I've got Porsche 800, that would've looked sick. I've got Porsche 400 in the fridge. I've got some color plus. Oh, I think I have some gold. I have all kinds of color film in the fridge. Should've, that's okay. I can come back. This place is eight minutes from my front door. I don't hit any traffic, which I won't at sunrise, pre-dawn. Oh boy, I should have, should have known. We're not gonna have a clear shot. We got these distant towers. That's okay. We'll make the photographs that present themselves to us. This is great. I want to get a little lower, get this tower high on the horizon over here. The sun is peeking through behind it. It's gonna look sick. Here we go. Awesome, awesome. I've never actually been in this spot for sunrise before. Usually I'm up higher on the trail. This is cool, just sun coming up perfectly behind that tower. I think these images are gonna be really contrasty. Let me tell you about my camera while we walk here. I might have to stop and take more pictures. 
I'm gonna shoot out this roll. You've seen this camera on the channel a couple times, but this is probably only maybe the fourth or fifth roll I've put through it. It's a Nikon F4. I picked this up a few months ago. I did shoot some portraits with it a while back, shot some double exposure portraits with Danny with it. Um, it feels like I'm cheating on my M6, but I wanted an SLR so I could look through the lens and, and get do some more close focus portraits, get critical focus. The, the kind of thing you can't really do with a rangefinder, you know. The, the viewing window is off to the side. You're not looking through the lens and you're not seeing exactly what the frame will be. For my portraits, I want to be real precise with the with the composition and so I picked up this SLR got a really great deal on it it was like $300 or something and it's freaking brand new and it can be fully automated SLR I mean it's it's heavy it's a beast but I don't know I mean I haven't really used it only a couple times so I don't know I'm, I'm really keen to shoot some portraits I picked up I just picked up this 50 millimeter 1.4 it's fully manual it's uh, a 1.4 manual focus this is the first time I've used it I would have brought my M6. I actually have a new lens for my M6 that I'm going to talk about in a, soon, in a, in a video pretty soon. You know, you guys, if you watch the channel, you know the M6 is my all-time favorite camera. It, it has sentimental value to me, and it's my favorite camera. And I, it's my go-everywhere, do-everything, take-everywhere camera. And I've taken it on this hike many times and shot a lot of pictures, but a lot of rolls of film on this very hike. Color, I have shot color here before, so. And I've shot black and white. Today was exceptionally beautiful. I'm rambling, but uh, anyways, I don't have the M6 today. I would have brought it, but it's, you know, it's been around the world many times over the last several years and it's pretty beat up and the rangefinder patch is misaligned and had a little break. And so I, I had this camera and I'm like, okay, I have the XA now, point and shoot film camera. So I sent my M6 off for a CLA, clean lubin adjustment. So I'm, I'm excited to see if there's some improvements there when I get it back and it should be all, all dialed and cool. So today I'm using this Nikon F4, which is kind of heavy. I didn't put a strap on, I just want to carry it. I got the 50 millimeter 1.4. I'm shooting in aperture priority. Why not? I don't have to do anything. I just point, I didn't have to wind the damn thing. It does it for you. Wanna see? Check this out, this is so cool. I'm already focused to infinity. I have the iris set to f8. Because I'm shooting big wide landscapes, I don't need to be wide open at 1.4, I want, want sharpness. So I'm at f8 and I'm in aperture priority. So the camera, it's got this matrix metering, I'm set for matrix metering, just meters the whole scene. It's really awesome, it does it for me. So that's all I have to do. Set the f-stop, click the button, it meters it, sets the, does the shutter speed by itself, and uh, and rewinds the camera. I have, uh, in the camera, I have T-Max 400 speed film. So I set the ISO adjustment on the camera to DX. It reads the DX code on the film cartridge. I don't even have to set the ISO. I just put the damn film in, put the f-stop where I want, and bada bing, bada boom. I'm focus to infinity I can just point and shoot this is like a two and a half pound point and shoot camera it's not bad manual focus but there we go let's see boom it's fun it's fun I like it you know if this thing runs out of batteries or something I can't use it so I like my m6 because uh, it's great for travel I have had the batteries go dead before I can still use the damn camera this thing I can't and it's too heavy I don't really want to haul this around in a backpack but when I start doing portraits again I'm gonna be using this camera a lot to shoot film portraits and uh, the M6 will be with me as well all right let's move let's get around the other side of this hill try and get get some more of that Sun before it gets too high in the sky here we go Part of the advantage of this F4 is 
it goes up to an eight thousandth of a, sh of a second shutter. So I can shoot wide open in bright sunlight. Sometimes. We'll see how this meters if I shoot right into the sun. It's like there's all these gradients in the hills back here. I'm gonna shoot this and see how it looks. Let me get down a little low. I opened up the camera to 1.4. I'm still focused to infinity. We'll see what this film does here. What this how this camera meters this. It's gonna it's gonna use a super fast shutter because I'm looking right into the sun. I'm having so much fun. You know, you might uh, you might go, well, gee, if you're exhausted and burnt out from work, why are you getting up at four in the morning to hike up a hill? For me, this recharges my batteries in a big way. Just, it's like therapy, you know. I just face the rest of the day and face the coming work with renewed vigor and enthusiasm and inspiration. These landscapes inspire me. The light and the dirt under my feet, the birds that I can hear. I love it. I'm gonna try this shot in the sun again. The sun's behind some clouds. This could be a cool shot in the gradient of the hills. I don't know if you can see this. Focus to infinity. It's just blasted. I've got about eight or nine shots left. That always happens. You think, I think, how am I going to shoot 36 shots and then I burn through them before I even know? That's a, I don't care. It's not about film, is maybe about slowing down and being more methodical, but not on days like this. I just, uh, I want to move and I want to sweat and I want to breathe. I want to capture and move on. I'm not trying to make portfolio images or anything. I'm just trying to see things and note things and capture them. camera back to five six just to make sure I can have sharp images now I just I got I got two rolls of portrait 800 which is expensive film I want to come up here with those I've never shot 800 up here wow look how the Sun is hitting those hills back there it's so beautiful Oh boy, I've got about four shots left. We're getting some good light now that it's sun's back out from behind the clouds. It's still fairly low. It's hitting all the hills in the area. I gotta use these last couple shots. Four or five, three, four or five shots. Gotta use them wisely. I think that's it. I think I have one more shot, maybe. I should know better than to blow all my stuff early on. I should just, just ease off, Staley. Take your time, be patient. 
I'm gonna save my last shot for this hill up here I like. Ah, oh, you know, yeah, I really... <laughs> I never learn. Uh, I should save some shots. Save some shots for later. That's okay. I can come back. I will be back. There will be more sunrises. Oh, but I just... Oh, this is so cool. There's all, all the layers of the, the ridge lines and stuff and the way the light's hitting it now. So cool. I'm going to try and shoot my last shot here. I'm not going to do this S-curve hill. You'll see when we get to it. I've, I've shot it before. I have a lot of black and white pictures of it, so it's fine. But I like this right here in these angles, these, these layers. I'm going to try and get this. All right, I'll put this down. i got to focus on this. I might have one shot left. Oh, it's just, yeah, you know, all right, we're going to do this again. And I've got to maybe bring some color, save some shots for, for later on because it's insane right now. All right, here we go. I'm going to try. Maybe I have one more. I can't tell. Maybe this is the 36th shot. Maybe there is one, one left. Yes. So I opened it up. I can't wait to see that shot. I opened up the aperture to 1.4. I kept the exposure compensation to plus two stops because the sky is super bright. I'm shooting right in the sun, but I wanted that detail and all those layers in the background. We'll see. We'll see. I don't know. I'm having some laughs. You know, I say I'm going to just come out and just kind of shoot in aperture priority mode, just not think about it too much, but then you see things and if you want it to be a decent photo, you know, this camera can do anything you want it to do. And so I can't help but do that. Still kind of winging it, but you know, I, we'll see, we'll see what we get out of that. <sighs> That's probably my last shot. I'm gonna try again, Let's see if I have one more. I don't know this camera well enough if it just tells me when I'm at the end or not, but it said like, on the little the little uh, indicator here it says I'm at, at the end of my roll sometimes you can get one more shot out of it I, I don't know at least I can on my M6 sometimes I get if I put the film in right I can usually get 37 sometimes 38 shots on a roll I don't know about this I haven't used this camera enough I don't know it as well it's so fancy and got all it's a pro camera it's got all these it does more shit than I'll ever know how to or want to use really I just want I want to be simple I don't want to think too much about the technicalities I like to work on instinct oh here's that stretch of s curve road let's see if I have one shot left I'm gonna shoot this <laughs> I don't I don't have any more any more frames not today <laughs> wow this light though is great yeah I shouldn't have blown so many shots so early that's okay doesn't matter I'll be back Woo I love the layers so pretty up here. It's so amazing. I'm grateful. I'm recharged. <sighs> Go home and have another cup of coffee. Let's get down this hill.
Don't litter people. Don't be a fing asshole and leave your garbage on the mountain. Pick up your sh. You probably can't see on the GoPro. I haven't seen any coyotes or rattlesnakes, but there's a, a lot of little desert bunny rabbits out here. There's one on the trail in front of me. He's gonna run off when I get close, but they're cute. I like to see them. <laughs> they are running scared out here. The coyotes, the bobcats, the birds of prey, a lot of hawks out here. <sighs> you see a lot of bunny fur. <laughs> they're definitely on the menu and they're low on the food chain.